Hello Aries and welcome to your tarot card reading for the week ahead of October 24th. Let's get the cards out. Okay, let's see if you can see them. Let's push them up. Okay. All right, Aries. So you're coming in with the Seven of Cups for some, you know, daydreaming, thinking of the future, options coming in. Um, that's what it's really looking like in the cards here, too. There are some changes, I think some nice surprises and unexpected events possibly are coming in. These are dreams and hopes and wishes for some of you. And there is a sense that some of it, is, you know, can be really coming out true. So that is the feeling I'm getting. Others are really focused on the future. And, um, yeah wishes and dreams that's what some of you want with the five of rods here i am thinking um what i feel here is also um that there are too many with this here too there's maybe too many ideas um too many ideas running through your head here um also i am feeling that some of you could be doing something um, you love. I think it could be either new hobbies, um, you know, just enjoying luxury, playing around, running around with friends. That's a feel I'm getting on it. It's also telling me that um, just to be a little careful, because you got the ten of rods here, of overspending or um, overindulging, you know, too much fun is too much fun. <laughs> That's a feel I'm getting here too. Um, with the Ten of Rods, that's, again, what I'm getting here is, um, again, new ideas. And there's a lot of ideas in that that maybe you've heard from people or that you've come up with. Or you've got these a lot of ideas coming in through. But the feel I'm getting here is also before trusting any of them or um, implementing some, just, uh, just verify some information. That's another way I'm also um, seeing these two cards together. Now, with the Ten of Swords here, I don't think it's bad at all. <laughs> I actually feel, feel um, uh, you're coming to an end of a situation and new beginnings are coming in. So anything that has not been working out and that you got a new phase coming in, that's exactly how I'm feeling and picking that up. And you got the Hangman here. This is telling me that um, there are some serious subjects um, that may be coming up and um, making decisions, big question marks on some, uh, on some stuff and um, making some decisions coming up. But there, I feel like there's just really serious subjects coming up. Um, with the Ace of Rods here, um, I believe that even new, new <laughs> uh, news um, unexpectedly is going to arise. Um, arrive. I've been seeing that kind of here too. So, so, so some surprises, and I think they're good. So it's a, or news that you've been waiting for could be coming in finally arrives, and it's good. I love that card. And the Queen of Rods here. This is telling me that um, some of you could be really, you know, implementing some stuff. But I feel that you're going to withdraw, maybe be more uh, to yourself, and um, recalling some some things that you want to do for the future for work um it could be love you know um situations um what i'm seeing here you know some of you are dreaming some of you really wanting to implement your dreams and you may be withdrawing more and really implementing some ideas even more you know becoming very much more so uh reflective and um implementing um some more creative ideas because with the Ten of Cups here, I feel that you are really um, recalling your dreams and you, what makes you happy. And um, you're really focusing on that, too. So I feel for some of you, even that's very possible. I don't know now, but that it's coming. A lot, there could be even wish fulfillment coming in. With the um, Knight of Swords here in your career section, it's on, it could be a fast week. Also, news could be coming in. Now, if you're not working, you know, um, whatever is important to you and whatever you do focus on. Some people are just domestic divas. I don't know. But it is just saying news is coming in. It could be a fast week. For some, I have a feeling also this could be hearing something from someone on the job that you've been wanting to hear too. That's the way, or a new infatuation coming in, really, that is showing up for some of you. For love, you have the chariot. I absolutely love this. 
this is telling me that um, for some, um, I feel I get for some, this could be um, getting answers to prayers or some kind of what, uh, spiritual um, beliefs, um, wishes you had. That's what I'm feeling. If there's a win-win situation here, you can't go wrong. For some, uh, Prince Charming or Princess is coming in for you. And um, for others, uh, traveling together or meeting someone up. But it's also saying that something's coming. Um, be ready. Could be uh, Love could be uh, coming into the future very quickly. You've got some fast-paced cards here, too. And I'm going to pick an angel card. you got the Knight of Earth. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Um, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Well, okay, well, that kind of the feel I got on the chariot here. So this is good. This could also be saying, you know, the knight in shining armor is coming in. Uh, your princess is coming in. Something's coming in here. Um, there's an air of um, uh, wish fulfillment and things coming in and starting a whole new chapter. So it's like done with it, moving forward. And whatever you were carrying in that, you may carry a little longer, but you know what? It's really coming out great. I really love this reading. Anyway, Aries, that was your reading for the week of October 24th. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, all the information is below this video and all the sites you can find me on too. Anyway, over and out. Bye, guys.